when we build powerful tools, we really need to carefully ask the question, what do we want to do with that tool? And I believe Recursion was probably one of the first companies to do this. It's like we have this puzzle of how cells work, and we know little bits here, little bits there, but we don't have the big picture. And we know it's very complicated, and I don't think that humans alone will be able to figure it out. I see the work we're currently doing in my group and with Recursion really pushing this idea in a deeper way, mathematically, with new algorithms and so on. Instead of machine learning where you're given a data set, and then you're trying to analyze it to build a model, predictors, and so on. You are now part of this loop where the learner, of course, extracts information from the data, but then it proposes the next experiments to be done so that we can discover something we care about more efficiently and potentially much more efficiently. The tools for observing what is going on in, in cells when, when you stimulate them and poking them in many different ways gives us potentially the ability to decipher the causal mechanisms of how cells work. It was not trivial to apply current machine learning to solve the harder problems of, of understanding how the body works, how your cells work, and how to design drugs to prevent the next pandemics and, and cure you know, cancer and Alzheimer and you know, all the things that are really big challenges for humanity right now. We'll need machines, we'll need AI to help us experiment in the way that's going to be most productive to understand the things we need to understand about biology and how drugs can change things in our body. <laughs>